Hello, I'm Bruce Zimmerman. This is the Open Line Garden Show podcast for the second week of October. And it's all about growing degree days. Growing degree days is something that you don't want to do the math for. So what we want to do is give you something, a trick, to allow you to know exactly when these are going to happen. And this is how you do it. You see what coincides in your garden. So if you have Acer Saccharinum in early to full fall color, if your Solidago, which is your goldenrod, is in very late bloom, or if your Hamamillus is in early to fall full fall bloom, then this is what you should be looking for in your garden. The first one, take a look at your apples, crab apples, cherries, and hawthorns. And what are you looking for? Of course, eastern tent caterpillar. There will be eggs and there will be a mass. This is like a tent and it's easy to see because it's large. Got to get it out. You can either pull it all apart. You can do a soap spray. Uh, I don't think it's, uh, well, it's definitely too early to do a dormant oil spray, but soap will work as well as if you're allowed to use a pesticide in your area, try that as well. The problem is going after an egg mass is sometimes not very effective when you are going after eggs because they're inert. Result, use the insecticidal soaps and some power behind it and do it like a little power wash with soap and water and that should help a lot. On your ash, cherry and linden, fall webworm will be in the larva and pupa stage. You're looking for a little bit of a web and this will be like tents so you can easily spot them and get them down. They will be killed by insecticidal soaps and of course uh, the insecticides. Oyster shell scale is in the nymph stage. This is when the insecticidal soaps and pesticides will work because they're active and you can go after them. On beech trees, uh, beech scales in the crawler and nymph stage, which means that you can spray for those. Again, insecticidal soaps or pesticides. Cedar, spruce, and pine. This is a spruce spider mite eggs and nymphs. Now, eggs, no, you can't get, but nymphs, you can. But one of the things that we do know about spider mite in all stages other than eggs, uh, they hate getting wet. So if you want to wash down your cedar, spruce, or pine with just plain water, this will help to drive them down off the plant to the ground, and with nothing to eat, they will just die. So it's not a bad idea to try that, particularly if you've been having a problem with mites throughout the summer heat. On deciduous plants such as roses, lilacs, and honeysuckle, powdery mildew. Powdery mildew is very, very hard to control. Some people will do a baking soda mix. Um, some people have success with it, some do not. Uh, probably in your area, pesticide will be the best. Um, uh, obviously a fungicide for it. Systemics are better than the topicals. And what you'll also find with powdery mildew is sanitation, sanitation, sanitation. This is the time when if you do have heavy powdery mildew, you can also pick off leaves and make sure that none get to the ground. Remember, this can overwinter an organic matter in your garden soil. Black locust, the tree is being used more and more, being brought back because it seems to be so tough as a city tree. Um, the locust borer is in the egg and larva stage. Obviously, you're not going to get the egg larva if only they are out and crawling around. This one, probably you're going to need a systemic and probably a tree surgeon or arborist who can actually use the systemics on trees. Magnolias, um, the magnolia scale nymphs, these are the ones you got to go after. Uh, they breed like crazy, they're extremely aggressive, and you need to go after them with insecticidal soaps 
or an insecticide as soon as you see them without fail. Maple tar spot. Well, you know what I told you to do with maple tar spot. Sanitation, sanitation, sanitation. You can't spray all your maple trees as big as they are and try and control the tar spot. It's just not going to work. Oaks, beaches, etc. The gypsy moth are in the egg stage, which means you might be able to scrape some off, but you're not going to do much about it right now. It'll be in the spring when you start to put down the barriers on the trunks, and also you'll be able to use... um, they say some of the nematodes can actually go after the them that in the larva stage in the ground. Well, I've only seen one study that says so, so we'll just wait and see. Otherwise, you're up there trying to spray the tops of the trees because remember the gypsy moth are always feeding at the very top of the tree in full sunshine where it's nice and soft and all the new growth is. Oak, ash, maple, lecanthium scale. This is in the nymph stage. Go after them because obviously insecticidal soaps will go after them. But because these are fairly large trees, it's going to be difficult. At least with only using insecticidal soap, your sprays will not be going all over the neighborhood. On peaches and nectarines, peach leaf curl. Now, peach leaf curl is a disease that there's not great control for. But if you can do sanitation which includes picking off badly bumped, gnarled, twisted, red and yellow leaves on these peach and nectarines while they're still on the tree. Good. Any one that falls to the ground, pick up and destroy. Also, what you'll find is that dormant sprays are a good control, um, and that's what we would recommend at this time but it has to be done after leaf drop because obviously it's a dormant spray. If you're allowed to spray your fruit trees with an insecticide, what you will find is there are ones with the black furbam in it, and furbam will do a fairly good job at helping to control this. Remember, it's black, and you've got to be careful. Obviously, everything you spray will also be black, and uh, including don't spray yourself, okay? Because it's really hard to get out of the washing machine. Um, pine. The Zimmerman pine moth is out there in the egg and larva stage. So go after those, obviously. Uh, insecticidal soaps and systemics. Um, the spruce coolie and eastern spruce galls are out there. So I'm going to recommend that you get, they're in the nymph stage. So I want you to go and do the tips of the spruce and the pine with, of course, the insecticidal soaps. The thing is, it's going to look like uh, a growth. It almost looks like a brown pine cone right in the branch with new growth coming out. And, of course, the new growth is weakened by this and the tree starts to look really quite tatty in the coming years after many years of being attacked by this particular Uh, coolie or eastern spruce gall. Uh, Yews and cedars, the Fletcher scale nymphs, these are hard to see, okay? Why? They're brown and they're almost the color of the bark of the yew and the cedar. So be careful. Go in if you see symmetrical round bumps uh, that can actually be picked off um, then you know you do have scale. Go in with an insecticidal soap because they are in the nymph stage. The scale or the bumps are the adults. It's too late to go after them unless you've got access to systemics. Uh, but the nymph stage that they're at this month is now easy to control or let's say easier to control with insecticidal soaps. And that's probably the best way to go. I'm Bruce Zimmerman. This is the podcast for October number two.